Hello, my boy here. How are you all doing in the internet world? Um, hope you're all well. Um, just uh, still in the lawnmower season and uh, having great fun. Uh, there's a load of great people out there in the uh, in the lawnmower fraternity that are good to chat to and uh, yeah, it's good um, good banter, etc. So uh, and and lots of people selling lawnmowers and lots of people buying lawnmowers. So keeping everybody busy, including my boy. And uh, anyway, so today I was delivering a um, a really nice uh, Atco Balmoral 20S to a chap uh, in Beaconsfield, a uh, lovely part of the world. And uh, as usual, I have a look around that area, the area I'm delivering to, and see if there's anything that uh, takes my fancy. And there was a couple actually. So I've picked up two, they're in the back. Uh, both are Suffolk Punch 14 SK. Um, first pick up, it was very plain vanilla, um, 150 quid for a Suffolk Punch Kawasaki 14 SK uh, with a scarifier. So that's a nice little deal, can't complain at all about that. Happily take those all the time. Um, and uh, the next deal was just a couple of other junk, a couple of more junctions up the. Um, M40 uh, towards Oxford Way and uh, this chap um, was selling basically most of the contents of a shed and uh, he'd uh, put, put something on eBay and this this mower uh, was a 14 uh, Suffolk Punch 14 SK but it uh, it hadn't got the cover on the clutch that says it's a 14 SK and it hadn't got the side cover either, so he's uh, he's not got much to look at in terms of his pictures because uh, there's bits missing, and it's also got the Scarifier cassette actually inside the uh, the mower. So the last use of it had been the Scarifier. So I messaged him and said, "Look, you know, I I, I offered him on eBay, I offered him hundred quid, and it gave me one of those auto rejects up so hundred and ten, and that auto rejected so hundred and twenty five also rejects so you can't get any you can't do it again after three rejects so i contacted him and said look i'll give you 125 uh that's my last offer there's loads of bits missing you know and he went oh all right then yeah uh it was on for 146 but no the, he wasn't getting any bits at all so so uh, uh just one last thing uh i said um the, all the pictures have got this scarifier there's no sign of a cutting blade anywhere and so uh, he uh, he said to me, "Oh yeah, no, the cutting blades in the shed. So don't worry, I'll give you that when you come when you come and pick it up." So anyway, I went to pick it up, um, and it was right at the end of a shed. Uh, sorry, uh, in a shed at the end of a very big garden. What a lovely house um, up near Oxford Way. And um, anyway, so he gets the mower out of the shed, and it's still got the scarifier bit in, and we we're just working out whether it'll start or not. And I couldn't get it to start, but it's a Kawasaki, so it's just a carb clean. And I just glanced inside the shed and saw the cutting blade. Uh, now these these ones always come with a five blade cutting blade, and they're not really worth very much. They're worth about thirty quid second hand. Um, so I was just you know, I was happy with the deal. I got a scarifier, I got a cutting blade, and I got. A Kawasaki Suffolk Punch, uh, so and they sell for decent money. Uh, but anyway, I looked inside the shed and saw what I wasn't expecting, which was a ten blade, a ten blade cutting cassette, done up can sell for two hundred eighty, three hundred pounds. So um, <laughs> I was like, yes, please. I'm not saying a thing. I just uh, kept my mouth shut and said that's very nice thanks very much got it in the car and sped off so uh yeah and i just got back home and i'm doing a bit of a show and tell in uh, in part two uh, but um i'm very happy that i've got this guy this uh, 14 inch uh 10 blade cutting cassette in the car and um i haven't decided whether i'm going to clean it up uh just touch it up and backlap it to sharpen it uh, and then flog it like that, or I'm going to send it to Steve T over in uh, Great Yarmouth uh, for a full grind and 
uh, sandblast or whatever you do and then and then a repaint so uh, I haven't decided what to do I've already got a couple of th uh, ten blade ten blades um, that are that one's just come back from Steve and the other is just gone to Steve so uh, this one I might just sell for slightly less uh, but in a nice used condition as opposed to something that looks mint so anyway we'll do a show and tell in part two okay uh, part two show and tell uh, let's start with the first one I picked up which was the uh, Suffolk Punch 14 SK uh, with just with the scarifier and this was a whole uh, whole unit so nothing missing and there you go that's the uh, that's a ma. Um, it's not bad uh, this is this is a problem you have with these the water just sits here sometimes and uh, it's not looking the best deck in the world and these also are prone to breaking the, the grass cradles. I've got loads of spares of those. That blade, actually, um, when you when you look, actually, this is just dirt. And once we've got a scouring pad on that, I grew one of those green scouring pads on. A bit of WD-40 that'll clean off nicely. Um, haven't checked to see if it's sharp or not, but it feels all right. Uh, so there we go, and that's the scarifier and the grass box. So you can tell the scarifier's okay because it's got this curve of the t of the tine holders. Uh, they're, they're like a curved shape, and uh, that's good. So um, yeah, overall happy with that. That one, uh, that one will polish up and spruce up, and we'll see what we can do with that engine. On that one is running fine, no hunting at all. So doesn't need a carb clean but I probably will anyway um, this is the second mower Suffolk Punch 14 SK this is the clutch cover missing here this is this sort of wraps around here as you can see with this one so that bit is missing off this one and also side panel is missing and actually this this cover part has slipped round and also the back bit here has also snapped the two arms that come out that that sort of guide the the uh, the drive the belt that that cuts the, the, the cylinder belt. Uh, so that's that's going to have to be strip all that off and replace the parts, put it back on again with what we can. Uh, but that's that's not a problem job at all. Uh, and I've got parts from donors, so that's good and. Here we are, this is the little 10 blade. Not little, but um, it's not, it's not, uh, the paintwork's not in good condition on this. But it's a 19, uh, 2016 model, and it's a QC. So that means it's made by Allet, well beyond when this mower was made. So it's been bought recently, and, let it run back a bit. That's running as smooth as anything and, and cutting, that will cut beautifully. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refurbish the paintwork on that, strip it, strip it back, repaint, um, back lap, and sell. Pretty pleased with that, especially as it's a 2016 model, which I didn't know. Um, when I f first picked it up because I was too busy getting it in the car and uh, yeah the Suffolk Punch grass box so and again scarifier in there already that's how it was advertised and uh, that again has got the curves so I know that scarifier has not been used very much the tines are still shiny silvery coloured so yeah it's it's in good nick and uh, yeah, so uh, so there we are. That's an update. Um, I've got a few in the pipeline. Uh, I had a bit of a run on buying Balmoral 14S and 14SE as well. So there's going to be quite a lot coming up on the market for sale soon. Uh, and I'm picking. I've got a couple more to pick up as well uh, later this weekend. So uh, busy time. <laughs> loving it. Loving it. All right, folks.
Uh, oh, by the way, could you like, please? That would be good. Just tick, like, subscribe. That would be marvellous. Thank you very much indeed.